Hello. <laughs> Keep it to myself and stay in the way. Always on my lonely cause I can't. Alright, let's talk about it. The next installation of the 27 Club is going to be a half Ironman. A 1.2 mile swim, a 56 mile bike, and then a 13.1 mile run. Today I'm going to cut that in half. I am willfully unprepared. You know, October 15th is the day of, I guess, destiny for that. So today I'm going to try to do a quarter of an Ironman. Just to kind of see where my levels are. And I guess let's talk about where I've gone so far. Um, so it's, it's a swim, run, bike. Swimming zero <laughs> bike about 15 miles and running I've got up to six comfortably today I'm gonna swim 0.6 miles bike 28 miles and then run six and a half and we'll see how it goes this is just gonna give me a baseline it's gonna give me something to work off of I've never actually put them together either swimming I've never even done but I've never actually biked and then ran or swam then biked or done all three of them in conjunction so you know this is gonna truthfully give me a baseline I'm about a month and a half out of the actual of the actual half and I picked a pretty good day it's relatively cool which is nice I mean cool for here it's like 95 degrees but yeah I'm gonna go swimming <laughs> I'm nervous I'm truthfully nervous for this because I've never I, I haven't swam at all and I'm doing open water for the furthest distance I've ever even thought about doing. I have to piss too, but you know. All right, let's, let's quit making excuses. I'm gonna go swimming. Let me set my thing to swim, open water swim. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I'm a quiet motherfucker, but I like to talk my shit. Ah, I don't know how far I've gone. Oh my god, that was 0.15 miles. I might change this to a half of a half of a half Ironman. That swimming is hard. I gotta go harder on that. All right, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna stay close to the shoreline though, just so I don't kill myself. All right, I just finished up my swim. Um, I honestly truthfully have no idea how far I just swam like my first time back and forth to the buoy I looked and it said 0.15 miles and then I swam back and forth to a different buoy and it said 1.7 miles So I truthfully have no idea how far I swam, but it sucked. <laughs> it was terrible That is the worst thing I've ever been a part of that is so hard I need to work a lot harder on that because that is gonna kill me because that's the first thing you do if I mess that one up Too bad if I like kill myself on that then I got nothing left for you know I have another 70 miles after that Very difficult though <laughs> I'm so tired from doing that then I don't really feel like talking anymore okay so I need to decompress we're gonna head out to the bike trail because it's not over yet we're not done yet I have to bike another 28 miles and run another six and a half so I'll see you there these guys are having fun I'm miserable but that's life baby all right we made it bike is uh, project number two we have 28 miles to do. I actually enjoy riding the bike and I know what to expect. So obviously the distance is changing a little bit, but you know, I know I can bike. I didn't know I could swim and the answer was I couldn't. So I gotta get going. See you later. I'm off for shroom, I'm off for bean, I'm off a whole lot of shit. You could bet I'm in my head, but you could bet I'm in your bitch. I'm about a minute and 30 seconds into my ride. I already fell. I just got these stupid fucking I just got these clip-on shoes, it's my first time wearing them, and my first stop was literally that T right there, and the second I stopped, I was like, oh shit, I have to unclip myself, and I just doop, tipped over, so, hot start, I'm bleeding a little bit, but we're gonna get back on the road, hey, I ain't gonna stop, let's go. Dang. holy moly. 28 miles in the books it wasn't bad honestly the bike wasn't bad it wasn't horrible my legs feel relatively fresh just long two hours and 11 minutes and I was 
I was fighting hills. I was fighting the wind. I feel like that was a good test. That was a good test because there were some elements that I don't think will be there. Like, like the uh, Iron Man says it's going to be pr relatively flat, and I picked a spot that had some pretty big goddamn hills. So, um, and then of course I got cars whizzing by me and stuff like that. So you know I had to be a little bit more cautious, but it was good. Towards the end, I was ready to be done, but. I don't know, still processing that one. I think my mind's a little numb. I need to get some water. Lucky for me, I got another six and a half miles to run. Oh, by the way, this was a horrible video. <laughs> this is a terrible video idea. I realized like about 13 seconds into that bike ride that it's gonna be impossible to film anything. So I just didn't, you know, I just focused on riding. Just too busy, too many cars, you know, not worth it, not worth dying over. Um, <laughs> But it's Tuesday and I have to put this vlog out tomorrow. I've committed to it, so yeah. You just had to take my word for it <laughs> that I'm doing what I'm saying I'm doing. Pace was slow, my pace was slow, but again, that's double what I've ever done. So I didn't know, I didn't want to overexert myself and then be stranded like 10 miles away. So I feel good. I do not want to run, but I feel good. Look, these niggas be my sons. Without me, they be done. Where the fuck would you get all your mobile pictures from? That's why I've been living on this island with my blunt. Ignoring all these niggas because my energy is priceless. All right. <laughs> Last thing of the day, my legs are dead. Last thing of the day. It's 7.04. It's got a light sprinkle coming down. But I'm going to run 6.5 miles. Maybe walk, I'm not sure. I'm gonna finish 6.5, five miles. That'll be my half of a half, half Ironman. <laughs> and then we're done. And I'm gonna fall down, I'm pretty sure. As I sat there in the car, driving over here, my legs got a little stiff, so it might take me a second to warm up, but we're gonna get it done. I'll see you in a bit. I'm done. I'm soaked. I'm tired. It's dark. But I'm done. I'll go back to the crib and look over the data, but that was hard. That was very hard. I think I started at like 3.30. Maybe 3 o'clock. It is now 8.30. And I wasn't working out that... Oh my god, I almost walked into a branch. I wasn't working out that entire time. I had some breaks in between, you know, driving from place to place, you know, but long day. Holy cow. Happy to be done. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. That was a very unprepared half of a half Ironman. Sipping champagne, bitch. I do my damn thing. Bone for this like Matt Dane. Red whip look like Chastain. People be so phony, that's why I be on my lonely. People be so phony, that's why I be on my lonely. I've been living on an island. Okay, I meant to film this last thing, but I didn't. 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 Especially on the training that I've done, that was my third time biking, my first time swimming, and the furthest I've ever run. I don't think I really processed how crazy that was. But there's basically levels to triathlons. It's a super sprint, a sprint, the Olympic, a half Ironman, and then a regular Ironman. And then you got like supers and stuff like that. But like the basics, that was an Olympic, that was longer than an Olympic level triathlon. And I did it with <laughs> next to no training. It was, you know, my first time swimming, only my third time riding the bike. I have been running consistently. Once you get to the running section, especially after the first two, that is just pure will for the most part. Uh, so I was, you know, kind of surprised at what I had just accomplished. Um, so not to brag, it wasn't fast. It was f very slow, but you know, just the fact that I did it, I'm kind of, it gave me a lot of confidence going into the half Ironman that I can do it. Cause I didn't feel the swim. I was dead, hundred percent dead. Got nothing left in me. The actual, the bike, I felt like I had some more and the run, I felt like I had some more. So 
it gave me a lot of confidence going into, I'm glad I did it because it gave me a lot of confidence going into the half Ironman. And I still have like a month and a half to sharpen some tools, but I want to look at the numbers for yesterday. I guess we can start with the swim. It's kind of a mess. My swim was kind of a mess. One, because I was dog shit at it. Two, because it didn't really record very well. You can see on my map here, you know, it was only recording. It recorded probably, I don't know, a quarter of what I actually did. So I didn't get a great representation. All the dotteds are things that it didn't track. So I didn't really get a great representation of what I actually did. But I swam for 23 minutes and 37 seconds. Very slow. God damn it. Paradise Boss, this is Brad. Okay. I didn't really get a great representation of what my actual swim was, other than the fact that I need to do it a lot more. Um, Cause the numbers are all, the numbers are all jumbled. It just didn't track it. Maybe I need to wear my watch a little bit tighter. I don't know, but my bike and my run, I got pretty good data on. My bike was slow. It was slow, but my splits were what they were, you know? 28 miles is a long freaking way, man. So I was averaging, let's see, I was averaging 12.7 miles an hour, which is slow, but again, I was running hills. I was having to stop at stoplights and things like that. So I think those affected my times a little bit. What I'm really proud of is my heart rate through all this was very good. I'm not super concerned about my times right now. I had some I had some good ones, I had some bad ones. Again, a lot of it could be affected by miles that I had to stop at a stoplight or I had to, you know, do this or that or I was running a hill or pushing or if I had some downhills they were probably a little bit faster. But my heart rate was great all the way through. I mean it it averaged my heart rate averaged at 143 beats per minute, which is perfect. Um, we want to be in that in that great zone. Looking, the map doesn't do this one justice. It was deep, man, <laughs> it was deep. I mean, I'm literally passing towns here. That's what 28 miles is. I basically rode 10 miles out and then 10 miles back in. And then I kind of fussed around in a neighborhood. I was trying to catch my extra eight. And I was like, this is taking too long. So I did, a, you know, the straight lines, you know, just max out. So I brought that back in, but splits were decent, slow. Again, very slow, but a full 28, which is literally double what I've ever done before. So I'm pretty happy with that, and I felt good about it. My run, it was, I would say, probably four and a half miles of running, and then maybe a mile and a half of walking. And you can kind of see in my heart rate where my dips were on that. You know, the low points there are going to be where I, where I was walking. And again, it was slow. My average pace was very slow on that as well. I was doing about, you know, 12 minutes and 47 seconds per, per mile was my average throughout the six and a half. But again, the heart rate was money, which is really, especially for the distance, that is so freaking good. So yeah, it gave me a lot of confidence. It gave me a lot of confidence here on the map. I was just running around a lake. I probably did two laps and then, you know, sometimes I get bored of seeing the same thing. So I cut out towards this neighborhood, but cash brother, I really gained a lot of confidence from that. Again, that was very, very slow, but it gave me the confidence that I could do it. And at the time I didn't really even know what I was doing. I just had committed to, I'm running this half of a half and I'm finishing. I don't care how which is, I guess, the same sort of mindset I need, because it was all for the video. If this wasn't here, I would have had an out. I could have been like, uh, you know, I'm just gonna quit. This is fine, this is enough, blah, blah, blah. But not having that out pushed me maybe further than I was wanting to do. And I'm dead. I was dead by the end of it, 100%, but I gained a lot of confidence from it. So that's really good going into the next one. But this is just, yeah, I don't know. If you're into the technical shit, you can stop and look at uh, you can stop and look at the splits and all that. Um, it wasn't fast. It wasn't pretty. We got it done, baby.